Hello, hello everyone, good afternoon. Today I wanna to talk about something that's a little bit of a controversial topic, and that's the price of medication. So summer's in full swing, we're getting towards the middle of June, and there's lots of things that I can think of to spend my money on rather than buy prescription medications. And a lot of us have to make that choice every single month of how do we allocate our money and our budget. And a lot of us are not really keen on talking to our doctors about the cost of the medication that they prescribe. And it's a really important topic to bring up because as doctors, we don't know the price of the medication when you go to pick it up at the pharmacy, but we have an idea sometimes of whether or not the medication can be covered by your insurance, meaning on your insurance formulary. So there's lots of lingo depending on insurance plans of whether or not medications are covered at certain tier levels, meaning which price per copay that you pay, but medications like biologics or some of the other specialty pharmacy medications, we often don't necessarily know the price of those medications to counsel our patients. So if you're on a medication that is expensive when you go to pick it up from the pharmacy. First of all, you're not obligated to pay that price at that moment. Meaning, if medication cost seems unreasonable to you, then you can have the pharmacy hold the medication and call your doctor's office. You can alert them, I went to go pick up my prescription and the price just seems really high. Is, is this how I have to do it? And that can start a conversation about whether or not you can find that medication cheaper somewhere else. There's lots of newer online pharmacies that are offering discounted rates of common medications. One that I'm using a lot is Mark Cuban's Cost Plus Pharmacy. I use it for almost all of my gout patients because colchicine is pennies to the dollar compared to how expensive it is to fill at your local pharmacy. Costco offers great rates um, at their pharmacy and you don't have to be a Costco member to use their pharmacy program. And Amazon, believe it or not, actually has a pharmacy. So I don't have any stake in any of these companies other than to advocate that your medication does not always have to be expensive. That being said, other medications that you fill from a specialty pharmacy, like a biologic or injectable or certain pills even, come from a whole different sector of medication coverage. And each drug company has their own copay program. And you can find out about this through the company's website. So let's say I'm prescribed an injectable medication. You can Google that medication and find them on the web online. And typically there's a tab that talks about how to afford that medication or how to help with copay assistance. And you can fill out the forms or call the company directly and ask to apply for the copay card. Now, not every insurance will qualify for copay assistance, but if you have a plan like a Medicare plan, for example, there's other resources that you can use to get funding for that medication. So what I want to instill today, or the message that I'm trying the hardest to send, is that you don't have to pay a lot of money for your medication. There's other ways that that medication can be affordable for you, but you have to ask. And the only way that we know to change locations of pharmacies of where to send that medication is if you have something in mind to say, please send it here. I can get it cheaper here. A lot of our insurance plans want us to use certain pharmacies. We usually have that documented on our insurance card, or you go to a pharmacy and they say, we don't cover this, but another local pharmacy will. That does not mean you have to use that pharmacy. It just means that that's the preferred pharmacy by your insurance. But your insurance is not gonna tell you where you can find it cheaper. So if you're struggling to pay your medication, there's no shame in that, none at all. And actually, if you're one of my patients, I want to know if that's happening. And I do try to ask people, 
are you having difficulty affording your medication? Because if you have to pick between certain priorities and your medication, or if you have to pick which medication you're gonna fill every month, depending on your budget, I want my prescription to be affordable for you because I believe it will help you. So for every prescription that you're filling, see if you can find it cheaper somewhere else. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, but it doesn't hurt to look. And the best way to start is just by Googling the medication name and a keyword like inexpensive or online pharmacy. And you'd be surprised what comes up. Some of the online pharmacies require a membership or require you to sign up for um, an account with them, and that's fine. A lot of them are done through portals or email, um, and they're fairly easy to use. I also encourage you, if you have family members who are on expensive medications, let's say a parent or um, another elderly family member who's on more of a fixed income is struggling to pay their medication costs, encourage them or you can help them find ways to afford their medications at other pharmacies. The downside to this though is that sometimes you find different prices at different pharmacies. So one pharmacy might carry something cheaper and another place might carry a different medication cheaper. So as long as you're willing to shop around, find that bargain on your prescription medication, it really is worth it. And I encourage you to, to look into that. If you need ideas of where to look or um, how to get medications covered a little bit easier, ask your doctor. And they usually have some idea of where else they can send the prescription. So I hope this helps. I hope I can save some, some of you a little bit of money over the summer so you can do something fun and um, take care of yourself, invest in yourself, because investing in your health is investing in your future. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.